Hi guys and welcome back to Switch Up. So we're coming at you from the bunker. Yep, pretty much. There you go, the world's in a slightly difficult situation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Certainly not uh, sunshine and rainbows. No, not at the minute, not at the minute. But we hope you're all safe and staying so. And um, whilst we're all dealing with it, we've got another five genres. Yes, indeed. 10 games, um, our favorites for those genres. Lovely. So what have we got? We've got first person shooters. Well, I'm cheating because I've got a list right there. <laughs> Third person shooters, yep. action adventure games, mm -hmm. and the last two. So we've got world builders, yep. and we have got, I'm going to use your list as well actually, horror games, there we go. Lovely, right, <laughs> let's jump into the video. Okay, first up then we've got first person shooters, which were going to be in last time's list, mm -hmm. but the footage uh, corrupted unfortunately. So, do you want to start? My favourite first person shooter on the Nintendo Switch is the recently released Metro Last Light. Now this is the sequel to the very popular Metro 2033, and a fantastic port, again on the Nintendo Switch. Amazing game, there's lots of stealth in here as well, brilliant gyro controls, and they introduced a few new features for the Switch version, including creating a whole new this is where I get nerdy, anti-aliasing technique and a dynamic resolution scaling that means that it stays crispy whilst also keeping a nice sharp edge, which is really impressive actually, and it would have taken a lot of work to do that. Nice. So for me, that is like on point and it's a brilliant game, brilliant series. It's nice to see them put the effort in, isn't it? Oh, 100%. Yeah, it must have taken a lot of work to do that and they've shown that they uh, enjoy the Switch, so yeah, that's a win. My favourite then would probably be Doom, I would say, the 2016 yeah. uh, version. Well, I'll tell you what, Rico came a close second. Good game. That was a fun game, I enjoyed that in co-op. The Doom game obviously came out on other consoles beforehand. Yeah. When it came over, it wasn't the best port, to be fair, there were some issues with it, but I just appreciate the fact they, they were the first ones to stand up and be counted, mm. and actually as a third party developer, put their game, a big game, on Switch. I think it's been patched since, hasn't it, and yes. uh, some of the issues have been resolved, mm -hmm. and it plays very well. Obviously it doesn't play as well as on other places, but it's still a fantastic game. Very brutal, isn't it? Very visceral, <laughs> very fast, a lot of adrenaline pumping. Yeah. Very good game. The latest one is looking unbelievable. Doom, is, Doom Eternal. That, Doom Eternal. Yeah. I put that in my video from yesterday that unfortunately we had to take down. <laughs> yeah. But it's looking really good. Next up then we've got third person shooters and there are a few decent ones on the Switch but I'm going to go for Sniper Elite 3 and the main draw for this one is the two player co-op. Mm. We had an absolute blast on this one, quite literally. Yeah, absolutely uh, right. I love the x-ray camera that slows everything down. There's that competition element as well as you're trying to get those headshots yeah, yeah. at the same time and you're there like <gasps> and then you make kills and you're like oh for <laughs> crying out loud, do the basics. <laughs> but it looks lovely, performance is great. Yeah, yeah, we played it online, didn't we? Indeed, the, the online co-op, and um, I mean, obviously, we had to, we had our phones on loudspeaker and stuff. It wasn't ideal yeah. in terms of how you would play it elsewhere, but get past all that, and mm -hmm. it was cracking fun. Really it? good, really good fun. My favourite third person shooter, maybe one that some people haven't even heard of actually, is a game called Rogue Trooper. I know it, yeah. So it's based on a, a comic series that is in the 2000 AD comic, mm -hmm. the same people that do Judge Dredd. Yep. The basic premise then is that you are almost like a cybernetic soldier mm -hmm. and uh, your crewmates get killed and you take their chip, their, their microchip, and you put them into your weapons. Okay. And you kind of have your crew with you talking to you as you go oh, it's along. It's like their spirits in there, isn't kind it? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, very much, you know, cover-based, shoot, move. Mm -hmm. But a lot of fun, actually. It's only a digital release at the minute, which is a shame. I'd like to see it get a physical release. But next time it goes on sale, maybe have a look. Lovely.
All right, next up then, we've got action adventure games, which is one of my favorite genres on mm. the Switch. And we recently had the amazing Assassin's Creed 4 finally come to the Switch. And they did such a better job than they did with the third title. It runs brilliantly. It's amazing playing as Edward Kenway and all of the pirates and there's Blackbeard there. Just... <laughs> what? It's not died. It's not died. It's real. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I just love it. I love the sea shanties when you're going along and you can toggle those. I even like the whaling, you know, as much as that's going to offend people who don't whale. Wow. <laughs> okay. I really like that. I enjoy it. Great game, loads to do, and yeah, well worth buying on the Switch. It's always on sale as well. Yeah, very true. My favourite action adventure game then is actually uh, the Link's Awakening remake. Mm, yeah. Um, well, Link's Awakening, the original, obviously on the Game Boy, is one of my favourite games of all time. Absolutely love that game, um, and I love the way that obviously they've updated it in terms uh -huh. of inventory management mainly. Yeah. Um, you don't have to keep switching back every time you want to switch an item out. I think your sword and shield are assigned naturally now. Mm -hmm. Also, the obviously the graphics. I like the plasticine diorama yeah, style. Lovely. Very very nice. One thing that. I don't think works so well, and maybe this is just me. You have to let me know in the comments. Is the music so it's gone orchestral this time as opposed to the chip tune of before, and it just doesn't feel as punchy. Mm. It just doesn't seem to have the same gravitas to it that the old one had. Maybe that's just nostalgia talking, but I can't put my finger on it. it just it sounds the same, but it doesn't feel the same. I can put my finger on it. Go we on. were talking about this before. It's the interest of nostalgia. Nostalgia is essentially where something is. It's literally there's parts of your memory mm -hmm. where so when you first heard that song, yeah and you felt that feeling, it stores that as a specific part of your memory. So yeah. nostalgia is re-accessing that feeling. Oh, okay. So when you're listening to this, it doesn't hit that spot. That same note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's interesting. Because, I mean, at the start, you have, um, so Link's in his boat, and he obviously, uh, the lightning hits, and he gets shipwrecked. In the old one, obviously very primitive, that, that chip tune music, but it was very flashy, and then you crashed, and then the music started up, and it panned up towards the, yeah. the, the egg. That's the same sort of thing, but because it's not quite as loud and bombastic, mm. it just doesn't feel the same, no, you know? Exactly that. But nonetheless, great game. Then we've got world builders, things like Minecraft, and Dragon Quest. The Dragon Quest builders, yeah, that yeah. sort of thing, yeah. yeah. And my choice is Minecraft, it's gotta be. It's one of the first games I play with my kids. It's still, there's so much to do in it, you know? You can just spend your time building up a house, or, or actually you can go a lot further and create devices and machines using the redstone and things like that. So it's, it's more to this one than meets the eye, mm -hmm. and I really I do enjoy it, and it's a lovely game to relax to as well. Yeah, I'd never even heard of Minecraft until you Man. showed it to me. I mean, we're talking many years ago now, but I hadn't even heard of it. And yes, yeah, very, uh, I mean, it kind of changed gaming to an extent, oh, it did. didn't it, when yeah, it came yeah. out? It's, um, yeah, unbelievable. My favourite, um, again, probably one, this is when you know it's a favourites list, not a best list, yeah. is uh, Lego Worlds, mm -hmm. which is a similar premise, I suppose, in some respects, yeah. but having been a huge Lego fan all my life, basically, it's just, again, it just hits all those right notes, do you know what I mean? Just be doing the same thing, basically, as you would do in Minecraft, but doing it in Lego, for me, just has that extra weight, yeah. you know, it just, it just makes it more fun for me. Technically, not the best game, very janky, a bit rough around the edges, but if you like Lego and you like games such as Minecraft, then it's well worth having a look at. <laughs> there we go, it does that. Perfect. The last one is horror. 
So you know full well that I absolutely hate horror, Glenn, so <laughs> cheers for this. But I do seem to, in my old age, be able to play these a little bit more. And I'm going to go for Alien Isolation. Would you class that as a horror? Oh, would you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's just so tense, just creeping around and the noises. This has got one of the best implementations of HD rumble that I've had on the Switch. Mm -hmm. like there's little jolts when they're running in the vent above you and you can kind of feel the direction. Yeah. It's very good. It's a very good game. Gets a bit long-winded. I'm already starting to get to the point where I'm not too scared about the alien. I'm just like, is he is he back again? It becomes an irritant. Oh, it's like, all right, mate. Shame. Yeah, <laughs> you're back, are you? <laughs> there he is. Yeah. But it is cool. Just like the way you can construct, like I may keep making noisemakers yeah. and then slide them into a room full of people and watching him come in and just dominate. I think if they ever made a sequel or any game with a similar premise in the future, if they can just get the, um, I don't know what you call it, but like the, the route that they take, mm -hmm. if they can just expand it slightly, because yeah. it becomes very formulaic. You yeah. know he's going to walk around, wait a few minutes, going to drop back down, mm -hmm. back up again. If they could just fix that, they've got a winner on their hands for yeah. sure. You know? Definitely. Uh, my favourite horror game then, see I love horror, I always have done in any um, media and I was going to go with the original Resident Evil, mm -hmm. which obviously the, the remake, the HD remake, which was a GameCube game back in the day, is on the Switch. But actually I think in terms of on the Switch, my favourite time on the Switch would be Bendy and the Ink Machine. Good game. Which just blew me away, I wasn't expecting it at all. <laughs> I loved the art style, it has that classic rubber hosing that you'd see in the 20s and 30s which drew me to the game, not knowing what it was at all, but when you get into it, it's got a really quite creepy story of artwork coming to life mm. and um, kind of going deep within a twisted mind and trying to get back out the other side. The only thing I didn't like was the combat, it yeah. doesn't quite work, I think maybe they should have kept it as straight survival horror, but still a very good game. So that takes us to the end of this week's list. Yep. Let us know down in the comments what your picks for each of these would be. And that's it, isn't it? That's it, yeah. Again, any more that you want us to cover in a part five, as it would be now, please do let us know. Other than that, all that's left to say is, uh, as always, thank you to our, our patrons as, uh, for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Lovely. Stay safe and look after each other. Yeah. And for all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya! <laughs> Ha ha ha!